Hello everyone, welcome back to my Smell Good Fragrance Review. Today I'm going to do my one of my favorite things was this unboxing new fragrance. And it comes from one of my most favorite bottle design brand ever. I used to own one, but actually I broke the bottles. The bottle is so beautiful, but it's just so breakable. So please, please be careful if you own one. And here you go, we're gonna check it out what the fragrance is. Okay, I'm gonna do it quick. Unboxing time. Feel air glass. And this one is not available in any store in here, so I had to order it. It took me like two weeks to get the bottles arrived. And here is the bottles. Yeah, I gotta open it right here. So excited because the bottle is so pretty. The one I used to own, I really love it. This was really unique, elegant. So my bottle is actually in a Dexter box. If I got a Dexter box, it's a really good deal. It's like the price way cheaper. And the bottle is exactly the same. So here you are. Then the thing is, it's Pretty bottle at Kinson from House of Askins in London. So I used to own one called Post on the Green. It was really beautiful, minty, fresh, fatty versions. And this one is Fashion Decrease. Here you go. Fashion Decrease from House of Atkins. And now we're gonna try it. First of all, I want to check the the fragrance from Fragrant tika.com so it got a knot a pepper pink pepper as the top knot the middle knot is iris and manolina flowers and the base knot is basically leaf wow it's really simple i have no idea how does this i don't have any expectation for the sense i cannot imagine how does it smell like but the bottle is really beautiful glass with the yellow cap and see through and you've got an Atkinson London one seven one seven nine nine okay fashion decrease hmm. I literally cannot smell anything on, from the cap okay here you go one two three we are going to try in from the air first it's really really powdery I can smell like really flowery makeup, maybe from the iris, and how to smell like from the skin. Okay. Wow. Literally, I can smell pink peppers in here. It's kind of like somehow it's a little bit reminds me a little bit of slightly rose and wood in here but it doesn't doesn't list as not rose and wood at all but it's really rosy though it's really like kind of like velvety rose hmm beautiful guys wow and the hint of actually here it's really really feminine somehow it's just really more than kind of basically it's not that earthy as i painted it's not dark at all it's really really like a floral floral light light floral it's spicy that come from the peppers literally from the north i thought it was really dark Mm, basically pepper spicy woody scents but somehow it turned out to be really really floral oh my god the pink peppers and the rose in here oh actually the rose not enough but how can it smell rose so obvious in here and the background flame was basically it's really green basically in here also it's such a beautiful beautiful floral beautiful combination mm. And definitely the powdery 
somehow in here a little bit it reminds me about a makeup powder or somehow from the iris but it's not overwhelming it's just really well balanced but if it's unique uh, enough i don't think so it really reminds me about something i tried before i cannot even figure out like, what was this really like a rose base oh really i cannot think of what fragrance like that but definitely something i tried before but definitely it was a rose base fragrance interesting though pink peppers mm, what was it i forgot iris i need to check it out again because the nose doesn't make sense oh iris and magnolia and basilea i have no idea what it is magnolia floral is i don't know if i even pronounce it correctly to me it's more rose interesting oh but my god like from the base the basilea starts become a rock star in here but it's again it's really floral and green and fresh it's not like earthy dark basilea that's the most basilea sense i spell and definitely it's really it's more like floral feminine sized man totally can wear that if you into like sweet rose and saffron combo kind of but it's more like i think it's more suitable for major woman dressing up elegant style i'm not sure about longevity but position is kind of average it's not that loud but it's not that light either so it re it's, it's really decent though maybe we have to wait until a bit until the dry down so i'm kind of expecting it transform to something really interesting from the notes so i'll be back in 10 minutes 10 minutes is enough i guess i'm back and so far it hasn't transformed so much difference um it's still but it has a lot of rolls from the base now it's just so rosy though it's like spring pepper still there so it's kind of like combining the rose basilian peppers it's so well balanced though oh it's so soft also i kind of guessing that the longevity would be around six hours if i'm not wrong i hope but so far i think i'm really happy with this one fashion decrease from house of atkinson's and with a gorgeous bottle like this oh my god when you take a photo with the light on or daytime oh my god the bottles is so stunning i think atkinson owns the best looking bottles to me ever so beautiful so gorgeous love that mm, so rosy now even more rosy than before before they're like more like flowery and pink peppers kind of spiciness now this is a green rosy basically base yeah of course pink peppers still there but the rose more like going on top being the main flavor in here and so far there's no rose no rose is listed but it's just so obvious to my nose somehow i still haven't thought of any scents that's similar to this but definitely it smells similar to something i tried before so if you know or if you try this one please let me know what what scent that reminds you about this passion decrease one house of atkinson's and again, thanks for watching guys and see you next time. Goodbye.